Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my Formula One 2020, my career mode. We are at race number two, which in this particular calendar is going to be the Chinese Grand Prix. And uh, I've got a lot of work to do this weekend because um, I had a disastrous first race in Bahrain where I got taken out by Lance Stroll in the last video, which if you haven't watched, go back and watch. Um, and also... Okay. Okay, right, we're here at China, where obviously I need to up my game a bit after the first race of the season. Uh, it's also going to be a bit weird for me playing with a new set of pedals today, my uh, Frostmaster TLCMs. We need to be sure you can manage the tyres through a lap. I can't, so I still haven't really found the right position to be able to put them into. Accelerating on corner exit. I haven't really found the right position to sit them in. As far as driver position, for me. Because right now it's not very comfortable for me using these pedals. I don't know whether I need to invest in in a wheel stand of some sort. It may be that I end up having to switch back to using the um, the crappy Logitech pedals for Formula One if I can't find a because I just have no confidence in stepping on this brake in my current position. I can't get my foot into the right angle to step on the brake pedal. I mean the uh, the, the spring on the um, accelerator feels perfect. That is much, much better than my old Logitech pedal because it's actually got some resistance there, you know. I feel I can modulate throttle a lot better. Um, I can apply it a little bit softer out of the corners. Excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Right, let's go back to the garage. It's going to be hard because I've got to keep moving forward then to reach the, the keyboard and everything. Right, let's do fuel management next, which is going to require me to do a lot of lift and coast. We're testing fuel management here, so try to lift and coast going into the corners. Don't be too aggressive on the power, but remember, you still have to beat the minimum lap time. Lifting and coasting. I 
onto the long back straight. Oh, I should have broke a lot harder for that. Right, this is where we can do it. Down here. Okay, test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. Right, return to garage. Next one is going to be ERS management, I think. That's what I normally do in practice one. In this program, we're looking at ERS management. This is all about managing your battery efficiently throughout the lap to hit your target time. The overtake button will drain the battery quickly, but it will also give you maximum power. Spawn. Still spinning. You have to do that again now. Your pace is too slow. Make sure you use your overtake button for maximum power.
very much tried to feather the throttle there. So on my second attempt, program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent got data it. with that run, so come on back to the garage and we I got can talk the you through the numbers. Right, I'm going to carry on and see if I can get a few more of these done. Okay, so we're heading into qualifying and um, free practice went okay. Uh, well, all except free practice two where I actually managed to crash and break the car. Um, so yeah, qualifying going to be interesting hopefully I can put the car somewhere near the front row I'd rather not be dealing with that first series of corners from being in the middle of the pack um, we are in part Fermé regulations it's probably going to rain which is not something I'm a big fan of uh, this circuit in the wet is very treacherous. So let's try and go out and get a lap in the dry. Um, track limits are in effect. I've got a feeling it's it's already pretty wet. It's already starting to rain. Just based on what I can see in front of me with these uh, these um, breaking points. Oh, got a bit deep there. Didn't turn, rotate the car enough. Need to be nice and controlled in this lap. No heroics. No good smashing the car up in Q1. back to the garage we've done our time that's all we had to do uh, we're a little bit slower than Lewis uh, Lewis is pretty quick round here um, it seems Although I didn't have a particularly great middle sector. Lost a lot of time in the middle sector. Got to improve my middle sector. Hmm. Doesn't look like anybody's moving. Everybody seems to be quite happy with their positions. This light rain is going to be with us for a while now. Light rain. Okay, Jeff. So yeah, light rain apparently. Which means Q2 is probably going to be on inters. And Q1 is going to be on um, Q3, possibly also Inters. Right, so who got knocked out in Q1? Let's have a look. Latifi, the both of the Alphas, Kvyat, Carlos Sainz. Fair enough. Is it 
it's still raining. It's not. But I ought to probably think of going out there. I'm putting in my uh, qualifying time. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's took them too long to get me out of the garage. It has. It's took them too long. Right, we're going to need to do some heroics here. Hot lap, yeah. Well, let's try and get the car slowed down here and rotate you through that corner. On it. Oh. What happened? Let me know you're okay. <laughs> right, Q2. It's going to start raining. Select a set of inters. Because it's light rain. Oh, yeah, flip. That's, uh, not slowed down. I have to burn through a set of inters to get into Q3. I don't fancy doing this on um my um, dry tyres, not with the current, with the new brake pedal. Wrestling this car around. It's not going to be quick time, but I've only got to get in the top ten. Fast enough. It's a one thirty. That's the fastest lap so far. Well done. <laughs> a one thirty on inters. That's not bad. And I thought that that lap was rubbish. I probably timed did that right. I reckon everybody else has messed up there. They've all gone out on the um, so dry tyres, look. So, bot 
Haas did make it through in the Haas. Grosjean second. Wow. But Ace, you see, they picked the wrong tyres. They should have gone out on the um, Inters like I did. They would have gone jumped out of the pits on the dry tyres and then obviously the rain started and that would have been them completely kiboshed. Right then, Q3. It's still wet. I'm going to do it on the one set of um, tyres. <sighs> Not looking forward to this. Just got to need to get in a time though. The chances of being on pole are nil in these conditions. And I tell you what, you've got to really watch it with the um, track limits. Otherwise, um, the, the FIA really do seem to get quite hard on you. See, track limits there. That's perfectly fine to run in the dry. I'm trying to find the point where I can feed in the power. need a time on the board. Doesn't need to be anything superhuman. It just needs to be a, a clean lap. Two corners to go, these have to be clean. These have to be clean, everybody. There we go. Cross line 129.9. It's good enough for P2 at the minute. Good enough for P2 behind Lewis, who has been quicker than me all weekend. He was quicker than me in practice, he's quicker than me here in the Ray in qualifying. Whew. But that is good. I mean, front row is still a good place to be. I know I can start better than him. So, um, that run down to turn, uh, turn one. Still be quite good. People definitely do not want to go out in these conditions, though. Hopefully, it's a dry race. And with Hopefully. Complete, let's review our top three today: Hamilton, Schumacher, and Max Verstappen. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Nice uh, qualifying. Hamilton, me, Verstappen, Ricardo, Norris. That seems about the correct order of things. Uh, out qualified Valtteri, even better. My claim's going up again, which is nice because it took a big hit after the last race in Bahrain. I'm hope it really hoping it's a dry race. Please be dry. Please be dry. Yeah. Well done. Very solid result. You're looking good for the race. It is going to be dry. Good. It's just what we wanted. Uh, 
Yeah, I need to get on the um, score sheet. I need to get on the old dance floor. Right then, let's head to the race. It'd be nice if I could take Lewis first corner. <laughs> That's where we want to be, first place. We don't want to be in the bunch. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. It's overcast, but it is dry. It's going to be a little bit cool. We're here in the Yangtze River Delta today, home of the 16 corners that make up the Shanghai International Circuit. 54% of this 3.3 mile lap is taken at full throttle and we'll be getting up to speeds of around 200 miles an hour with DRS assisting the cars down the back straight before they break into the sharp hairpin at turn 14. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Schumacher completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ricardo, Lando Norris and Stroll, Leclerc, Bottas, Grosjean and Sergio Perez, Ocon, Albon, Nick de Vries and Gasly, Magnussen, Sainz. Daniel Kvyat and George Russell, Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Let's find out. No words of encouragement from Jeff before the race starts, where I'm going to be doing a projected one stop, medium to hard. Plenty of fuel on board. All right, let's. Let's try and give Lewis. Got away well. Nice start. Great start, in fact. Now I've got to capitalise on it. Pushing hard. for the lap. Minus 1.6 second lead. Almost two seconds by the end of the lap.
I'm doing my ERS up again. We're setting purple sectors, so I don't mind. That fine control out of that corner. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. And away we go. So yeah, good first race today. Despite the fact that these are my first laps of the day, because um, I am actually recording this race on Saturday as qualifying is taking place in the real Formula 1 at the minute. Um, I've recorded practice and qualifying on Friday evening and I've already had a bit of a look at that in the um, editing software. So I apologise if there's any audio issues in the um, first part of the video. Um, for some reason my microphone's picking up a lot of background noise for some reason which it shouldn't have been doing. Um, and hopefully that's not going to be a case today here in the actual race. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to obviously try and recover from. The first race of the season was not great for me, thanks to Lance Stroll being an idiot and taking me out. Which brings me to um, the... Um, a comment that was left on the video of the last race which suggested that the, it's too easy for me and I need to increase the difficulty. 85 is too easy apparently according to the viewers. Um, my response to that is I've spent a lot of time in this C career mode developing my car, doing the practice programs, getting the research points Doing the upgrades Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. To make my car the best car, the fastest car. My car on the performance table is massively, massively faster than everybody else's. Because I've spent spent the time on it, you know? I've put in the hard work. So I expect to be running at the front of the grid, winning races. That's not to say the game is easy, because as you can clearly see, it's not. Um, and at the end of the day, it's down to the other teams and the other drivers to do their work and develop their cars to match me, you know? problem I, I see people oh it's too easy increase the difficulty well the problem with increasing the difficulty is that when you do that you're not just making the, the other cars faster many people think oh you just raise the difficulty all it does is make the cars faster no it doesn't if you raise the difficulty you also raise their aggression in terms of how they try to overtake and how they try to defend. So if you raise the difficulty, you're gonna end up with cars banging into each other a heck of a lot more, um, with, because they're gonna be very aggressive. And as a result of that, with the realistic damage mod that I'm running, you would end up with far more safety cars and far less cars actually finishing the race because they would be out. They'd lose, they'd be taking their wheels off all the time. And I don't know how interesting it would be for a, a, a series or a video if we're only ever running behind the safety car all the time. Because um, the AI constantly crashes into itself because it's too aggressive. I also don't know how interesting it would be for a, a race series. Um, for a video series when none of the top drivers would be in it because the likes of Verstappen, Hamilton etc will constantly be crashing into each other and taking themselves out of the race. People would probably not like that too much. So 
is, is finding the balance. Like I say, I've done a lot of testing. I've done a lot of racing. I've put a lot of hours into this game. 85 seems to be the sweet spot for me in terms of the difficulty, balancing the race difficulty with the aggressiveness of the drivers. I don't want the AI any more aggressive than they are now because they're just idiots else. You know? And if I wanted to play race against idiots, I'd go online and do multiplayer. <laughs> you know? At the end of the day, I'm going to keep upgrading, developing upgrades for my car to make my car the best car that's ever been made in Formula One. We're going to be setting records, you know? I mean, that's not to say, you know, it's a guarantee that I'm going to win every single race, because it's not. As you've watched previous series videos, I'm not guaranteed to win every race. Even at this difficulty, anything can happen. The last race proves that. There's no way I could have envisioned a safety car, which then, as I tried to, um, you know, Get, a, get away from the pack again on the restart forced me into making I, I had a spin which then put me in the pack and then I got hit by Lance Strong you know therefore I didn't finish the race no points it's a lot tougher this time round this this year because obviously I've introduced the rule where there's no um, there's no there's no there's no um, there's not going to be any instant replay flashback anything like that so whatever happens happens and I just have to accept it you know if I crash I crash race over as you saw in the last race if somebody hits me race over Check your MFD for a new strategy option. I don't want a really new strategy, do I, Jeff? Got that? You want to stop a lap later? Oh, I'm happy with that then. I'm gonna stop a lap later then, Jeff. I guess because Lewis is too close for comfort. They don't want me to box to yet because of Lewis. I'm really bad at this cut series of corns. I can't get my speed out of there. There we go. All the way. Lewis well, is just hanging in there. Oh, that was bad. I didn't need to break there. Interesting to see if now everybody's on the mediums. I wonder if Lewis is going to try something a bit funny with his strategy. Makes you wonder whether he'll try.
So what, where are I? took the uh, corner post out. down here and saving it all back don't really get much of a boost now after 200 miles an hour in the pits. Okay, that's, well that's very early, Lewis. Lap 11. Lewis is in for a stop. Makes you wonder what he's doing. It's an incredibly early stop for hard tyres, seeing as I'm doing lap 14, apparently. He's put softs on. Okay, Lewis has gone on to softs. That's not good because he can't go to the end of the race on those. So now he's committing to two stops. Which is quite great news for me at this stage. Because if I do a one stop, I beat him. this corner better. Latifi and the Williams, I would imagine.
12. So boxing end of lap 14. So lap 14 is where I want to be. Um, I want to be putting in my um, my fast lap. Save up all the ERS as well for the rest of this lap. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Spare energy, use your overtake button. We want to pit this lab, so push now. Oh, this is going to get messy. Up my fast lap. Some information on Russell, they're retiring from the race. Caution, caution. Green flag. Two point seven. That's not bad. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Now we're on the, the hard tyres, which are obviously my favourite tyres. Tower again. I'm in lane mix, everybody. <laughs> Still in lane. Just going to save a lap or two of fuel after my uh, pit stop. Oh, we go back 
to standard? to be too aggressive. Now Lewis is 11 seconds behind but he's on the long tyres. So in actual fact I could be conserving engine, running in lean, saving fuel. I could let him get right up close to me because I've got the comfort that he's got to stop again. is going according to plan at the moment it seems to be brightening up as well out here which means if the temperature warms up we could definitely see some quick stuff towards the end of the race Lewis is in the pits again uh, see his, his experiment on the soft tyre didn't work then Lewis is in the pits. Soft tyres have not helped Lewis. That seems like a very bad strategy decision, that does. Stappen is still out. He's on the hards. Hamilton is now in third place, running another set of mediums. Is he? He can't even. He can't get to the right ra race end on the set of mediums, can he? So Lewis has done medium, soft, mediums. He's not. He, he's not going to be able to get, go to the end. Surely. Lewis could be three stopping here and chucking this race away for the team.
got a bit of a spin there. You lost a bit of grit. Twenty of twenty eight. Back markers, get out of the way. lapping today. Fine, because we're doing a bit of lapping. a Ferrari back marker okay I'm just preparing myself just in case there's a late safety car or something in this race that I want to be boxing and putting on soft tyres <laughs> Use your overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. I'm doing all right, Jeff. Don't worry about me. I'll use the energy when I want to use the energy.
was pleased it didn't rain for the race and spoil the race. Like qualifying was very nearly spoiled because of the rain. I much prefer racing in the dry. setting fast laps on these hard tyres. But I don't have to worry about them going off. Four laps to go to the end of the race. They're definitely uh, going to last. Victims. Oh, there's more victims, look. Another Alpha Tauri there. He definitely didn't want to make it easy for me. Five laps of fuel remaining. We did a 129. First 129 of the race. That's because I got that awesome slipstream down the back straight <laughs> from the Alpha Tower. Victims. Wow, for Tower. And then it's a Hass. It's either Bottas or Grosjean. Got a bit of DRS this time to assist me down here. You have to move over, Mr. Uh... Make your mind up. a little bit difficult there. Eh? This is going to be a quick lap.
There's three laps of fuel remaining. 1-2 for Mercedes, actually. Lewis managed to get past Verstappen then on those medium tyres. So he did manage a two-stop. Quite a few levels after a race, I must admit. Let's Not have a look then at the driver's standing. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. 
So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with yeah, another Sainz strong performance well. this weekend. Started 16th, well, Anton, one start, to another finished in fifth. Of racing. Paul Thanks Lando started in fifth, us, two stops, we'll two finished in tenth. The two stop was not the way to go. Valtteri Bottas made four stops in the race. <laughs> well done, Valtteri. Round of applause, Valtteri Bottas, everybody. <laughs> four pit stops. Let's have a look at the standings. Right, that's put me back in the hunt. Although, obviously, 17 points still behind Lewis. Lewis has, uh, has got an early lead in this championship. It's going to be quite a bit of... Uh, the beating we've got a nice 24 point lead in the constructors though which is nice so yeah we're going to be heading into uh, the next race now which i think will be zandvoort is it zandvoort amazing performance out there i'm sure you're pretty happy with that was there really any competition for you today your team dominated the race today was it the car or the teamwork What's the secret to your success? What do you think made the difference between this weekend and last weekend? Mm. Yeah, the chassis department has done some good updates. Your teammate had a great race today and was rewarded with a podium. Do you have any comments on their performance? everything there we are quite happy with that we smash bottas and that puts us nicely back in the lead in the rivalry with five races to go so i'm happy about that my claim shoots up again level 12 Yeah, so round, what is round three then? It's, like, it's either Baku or Zandvoort. It's Zandvoort is the next race. So I hope you're all excited about that one. Um, should be a good one. We've put together an estimate on our car's performance. So there we go. Look at that. That is why we are so quick. It's got nothing to do with the difficulty that I'm playing on, everybody. We have got quite a sizable um, chunk of performance there, advantage over all the other cars, because we've been doing the R&D, developing all the parts. Now I've got 1,787 parts, points to spend. Um, we probably want to be looking into some more upgrades. Can I get anything on the... I could do a fuel injection system. Can't do the intercooler. We could do the cylinder head, which would give us quite a bit of a boost. Can't do the fuel regulator because that's a major upgrade. But there we go. We'll order another engine. Upgrade more power. We're currently working on streamlined suspension arms, which will then enable us to increase our front wing and rear wing downforce. We'll then be able to get into this kind of stuff down here. Chassis wise, there's not a lot left chassis wise. Um, uh, we could do some major chassis updates, but really we've, we've got quite a, an advantage in the chassis department. So we're probably not gonna do many chassis upgrades. Aero is probably where we could maybe steal a bit of a march. And then in terms of durability, our car is bulletproof apparently bulletproof reliable so yeah i've got nothing to kind of fear heading into the um, next race in a week's time okay we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. and we've got our suspension we'll arms everybody <laughs> our suspension arms have kicked in very nicely perfect so that's it folks be sure to come back and join me for the Netherlands Grand Prix in a, uh, in a in a in a couple of weeks' time. 
when we come back for the third round of the championship. So for now, everybody, from me, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you later.